In the previous video, we executed our very first test. In this video, let's understand the structure or anatomy of that test. I'm here in app.test.tsx, which contains our test. Now, all you need in a test file is the test method, which runs a test. Let's begin by understanding the function signature. Test accepts three arguments. The first argument is the test name used to identify the test. The second argument is a function that contains the expectations to test. The third argument is the timeout, which is an optional argument for specifying how long to wait before aborting the test. The default timeout value is five seconds. If we go back to VS Code, you can see the name of the test is renders learn react link. And this is what we see in the terminal to identify the test and its result. The second argument is a function that contains the expectation to test. This is where react testing library comes into picture. We begin by creating a virtual DOM of the app component using the render method from React testing library. Import render app component and pass app component as an argument to render. Next, we use screen from React testing library, which is an object that contains methods to query the virtual DOM. In this example, we use a query called getByText. GetByText accepts a string or a regular expression as its argument. In this example, we use a case insensitive regex with the words learn react. If we go to app.tsx, we do see this element in the component. So in the next line, when we expect the link element to be in the document, the expectation is met. Since no error is thrown from this test, it is considered a pass, which is the status we see in the terminal. At this point, you may have a question about the imports. It is very clear we are importing render and screen from React testing library. However, neither test nor expect have been imported. How is this code working? Well, this is another nice feature that Create React App has provided for us. Both test and expect are methods from Jest, which Create React App globally provides in every test. You, as a developer, don't have to import it. As you can see, we use a combination of Jest and React testing library. This is the anatomy of a test in a React project. Let me quickly summarize it for you. Every test begins with the test method from Jest. The first argument is the name of the test. The second argument is a function which contains the expectations to test. We use React testing library to create a virtual DOM and get hold of the element against which we need to assert. We then use the expect method from Jest along with to be in the document, which is called a matcher function to carry out the assertion. If this expectation succeeds, we see pass in the terminal. Now as it stands, we are in the seventh video in the series, but we are yet to write a test ourselves. Let's change that in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I will see you in the next one.